Hi, and welcome to another video in the RHCST video series. Today's video is on Configure Systems to Mount File Systems at Boot by Universal Unique ID or UUID or Label. So, in the previous video, uh, we'd got as far as creating a logical volume. So, oh, yep, yeah, so let's just see that first. So make sure I'm there, so it's still clear here. And OBS again. So, we've got the logical volume as, as we created earlier. So, another one of the exam objectives is to create a uh, ext4 um, file system. So, I might as well cover that part, at least use a common um, file system for this. So, I'll just create a ext4 file system on top of this logical volume. So mkfs dot ext4 and block device. So we have and then vg1 and then lv1. Done. So now we have let's create the file system given a u uuid. Universal unique ID, so that's what we're going to have to mount it with, um, and that will be the third address there. So, there's quite a few uh, simple ways to do this, and with regards to the actual mounting um, of file systems on boot, it's done by a file called uh, fstab. So, it's pretty common in all Linux uh, systems. So, if we do cat etc. fstab, have a little look at it. So at the moment we've got just a uh, two lines actually. So we've got the map of rel root, which is that um, logical volume that was created at the very first, very start when we uh, built the actual operating system originally, and that's mounted to slash, which is the the uh, root mount, and it's the top type XFS, that's the file system type, and then we've got some uh, second tier defaults. We we'll go go through some of these seconds as well. Configuration has got the UUID to mount in by for this one, and we've got the boot, and then again XFS defaults. Yeah. We've actually got a third line here, and that's called the swap. So the swap is just um, if you run out of physical memory, you use the swap on the hard disk to allocate uh, more memory, essentially. Okay, so let's do a clear, and we do BLKID now. We should have a UUID here for VG hyphen VG1 hyphen LV1. So we do a little, little quick hack. So if we do BKLID and then to append it to and correct and paste this and then we do etc. Okay, so now we do VI on the FS tab. So we now have quite a bit filled out for us, which is quite nice. Okay, so we do is we don't have this bit, so we just need a UUID plot, and then we just do EX4 for our system. Over there, where we want to mount it to, uh, let's say slash mount. Okay, right there. Generally, tabs between them, so just keep the tab spacing. Uh, we can then set the ports. So, uh, regards to all these values, so we most, so if you notice the one above has. Zero, 0, so we actually want zero, 02. So this first value is for um, the dump utility, is to decide whether to make a backup. Um, in most cases, um, we don't have the dump uh, utilities installed, so set to 0, so it doesn't need to do anything. And the second one is pass, so in order to check the actual um, file systems. So in most cases, um, apart from the the root directory or the, the uh, force slash 
directory, we have the um, it's set to two, so it's a, the lowest um, lowest uh, priority in the, in the file system list. And finally, this default value, it's uh, it's actually just the default mounting settings. So it sets a the common um, values you're going to most likely use, but obviously you can be quite granular. Um, on the screen now, just showing you, just put there all the various values you can set. Um, but the default essentially sets these values of read write, uh, SUID, dev, exec, exec, auto, no user, and async. And you can see each individual configuration what it sets. But yeah, in most cases, the force is probably enough and it's probably what you want. So, we do escape and we do a right click. Now we can do mount and then MMT. We do There's nothing in the moment. So we can, we can do a test on this. So we can do a um, touch amount test, okay. That's what just doing as minus one to two on amount. We have the test file, yep. With the U mount and then MMT. You can see that the file's gone. If we do a mount again. You can see the file is there again. Uh, you can see the file is back there, so it's mounting quite nicely. So that would just mount on boots using the same settings I just used for that mount command. So the next thing you can do is you can actually assign a label. So rather than having that trying to, make, trying to uh, use the UUID or the Universal Unique Identifier, you can use uh, a string. It can be up to 16 characters long. In most cases, for most, most file system services, it's probably good to use the uh, 16 characters. And what essentially we need to do is run, there's two different commands you can run, but either one's fine really. And you can just do E2 label, the dev, uh, bg1 lb1 just to give it a label let's give it um, test let's call it logical ball one okay you can just do e2 table dev bg1 lb1 we should yeah, print out the label here. So now what we can do is instead of FS tab serving the UUID here, quickly we can do label label equals and then the label name was um, I've got a button now. I think it was <laughs> logical vol one, I think. Let me just double check that. Yeah, logical vol one. Let me just make sure I've copied that. <laughs> Let me just double check and paste it in the top. Okay. Right, okay, now we can do the same thing. So, mount, let's just do U mount again. Uh, MMT, let's double check it's empty. Okay, and then finally, mount MMT. Oh. Cool. So the mounting is working absolutely fine. Uh, so the FS tab is working as we intended to. So uh, that pretty much concludes the video. Check out my other videos. Uh, we've got, we're getting to 
uh, more than 20 videos now on the RHCSA uh, exam. So please um, check out got a few playlists based on the various exam executive um, exam sections. So yeah, please view them and uh, yeah, have a look at them and, and see how you get on. Um, my Patreon page is on screen now. Also some other stuff you may be interested in as well. Uh, yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you next video. Cheers.